working, so there you go. But anyway, let's introduce the players real quick and just forget that ever happened. So we have Reed here on the left-hand side. He's playing as the Mongols. And uh, I believe he played as Mongols last time we had Arabia as well. Uh, then the Doubt is playing as Pocket, playing as Mayans. And he had Mayans last time. I assume Viper will then be Huns, uh, playing again as Pocket. And then Slam, playing as the Chinese as flank. So similar as what we saw last time uh, w for these guys. Then on across from Slam then is Fang Zhao and ooh, Slam is mightily close actually to a boar and wow look at that. He's going to try and lame this. Is he going to get it? The boar did not respond. Right, he actually got a sheep as well. He went straight for the lame. I think he, well he's going to have a good chance of getting that. He actually is not, he's going to run out of sheep. Uh, but he's going to go for the lame, and it looks as though he's gotten it here. It looks like he's going to get it back, so I'm going to just follow it back. And The problem is he's going to have to get his own boar in, and so he'll get it in. He's already Chinese, he already has his loom, be fine. Uh, top player should be able to get that in. His, his scout has 10 HP left and should be just fine. He's actually going to run right past his sheep as well. So now for Feng Zhao, he's also playing as Chinese. The other pocket is Moonlight. Uh, Moonlight is playing as Huns. Uh, the other pocket... Kawhi, who we saw in the other Arabia game in the first game. I was unimpressed, honestly, but he's playing as Mayans. Then the last player, which is unintroduced, is Fang Zing. Uh, I did not see if there's any other laming action. It looks like Riyad actually has his boar in the back. And it uh, doesn't look like any of these guys. Yep, second boar now coming in for Fang Zing. And did actually get his own that uh, lame in slam. So very nice. Um... What's the play going to be for these pocket players? Well, we have two Chinese players on the right-hand side, and they're probably going to be going Drush. It's kind of expected. On the left-hand side, we have Riot playing as Mongols, and the other player then, again, is Mongols as well. So similar strategies, I assume, going to be going Scouts on the left side, being Mongols. On the right side, going to be seeing the Drushing, I assume. It could always, always try and surprise me. So we have deer and very nice deer patch as well from Feng Zing. In fact, he's actually neglecting to go through his forge bush, uh, which is interesting. I had a discussion with somebody who's probably out there as well. I actually turned my left monitor off, so I'm not reading the chat, but I think I saw him out there earlier. We talked about this last night. Uh, is it worth milling the deer or milling the berries? Uh, who knows? But this many deer, I think it's well worth it. Definitely is Mong Oh, it's Mongols. Yeah, so he's going to be going for the deer for sure. Um, Nothing better, really, than Mongols Hunt, or faster food production than Mongols Hunt. Um, but last time, I was really unimpressed with with Kwai. Like his his Mongols or his Mayans play was really poor. His plumes, he didn't really do that much. Doubt just walled up and slung, and he's in the red here. Uh, luckily, similar colors to last time, and I just I just don't really know uh, what he was doing so I, I hope for the sake of old men that we're going to see a little bit uh, better play from Kwai. So as expected Feng Zing and Riot are on their way up to the next age. I still guys and and my apologies like I said I, I'm not getting too stressed out about it but I still feel as though I can actually shorten or uh, make the size of this overlay at the top right smaller somehow. Um, it It's just not showing what I, I believe it should be showing for me to do that like it did with the dashboard. And if it's okay with you guys, if it's, if it's bearable, we'll keep it the way it is. And um, lots of walling coming up now from these players. You know, we, we see that. Uh, in tournament games or in big games, players like to wall an awful lot. In fact, Feng Zhao deciding to just wall even more, that wall wasn't good enough. I, I mean, I like this wall better, uh, for sure. It's going to you know, provide some extra cover, but 
it it was a waste of resources to go. But we have barracks already up for both these players, and collecting some extra deer here is red. I assume these villagers are going to then build the stable. Uh, very nice for me to be able to get these deer in as well, because already getting these deer is Feng Zing, and that's a huge food boost. I hope for the sake of the game we don't see a sling, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a sling. Uh, Doubt slung last time, and we could easily see any of the uh, players sling this time around. And I'm already seeing a substantial amount of walling from Feng Zhao here. I don't even see a barracks, and generally you would trush, like I kind of spoke about. And I'm going to guess, I'm just going to hazard a guess that he's going to be actually slinging here. That's just going to be my guess. So he's just going to wall behind and, um, you know, seeing the walls, I think Slam could either guess that or he's going to go immediately to the pocket. And that pocket's going to be Moonlight. Moonlight already prepared for that, so they're probably already communicating this. Scouts are going to be coming out from the flanks here, and... No real damage being done right now. Riot's actually holding back his scouts until he gets a couple of them to be able to... Yeah, I agree, Clem. I'm actually spoiled myself. I, I was, like, freaking out when I didn't have the dashboard working for me. Uh, but he's gonna... he's gonna Riot's gonna hold his scouts back until he has enough to really do some damage. I like the way Riot has... Like, you would have at first glance said Riot's map is kind of open on the front. Uh, yep. Looks like we had a restore, uh, but the way he's just built these houses, barracks, stable, couple palisades, and house there, he has a very nice map for him now, back gold and such. I like that. So before we actually restore this, I just want to talk about what I was going to talk about. Looks like, yeah, Drush going in there from... I'm going to do it the correct way, and... Do it this way. Oh, wait, there's. All right. So game three continued. <laughs> All right. So. It's loaded from Viper's point of view, so missed a little bit. But yeah, the Drush uh, was coming in then from Slam. I uh, didn't miss anything. And quick wall then from Moonlight on his resources. I am going to assume now, looks like, at the total vills from Fang Zhao being at 30, that he's going to be doing some type of sling. He's sending over to Stone and to Gold. He's probably slinging. Uh, now the Scouts from Riot are chasing down Feng Zing's um, scouts as well. And of course, Feng Zing is probably going to try and attack one of these pocket players. Viper now, he's preparing himself to get up to the next age with these buildings. Unfortunately for Slam, he hasn't really done all that much with his Drush, but um, he is probably well aware right now that his opponent is either fast castling behind the walls or going to sling. And he's going to know at some point that the sling is happening. Uh, everyone on his team will. So they're going to know they need to prepare. Now, the question is uh, who is Kwai going to sling? And all everything that we have endured is for this moment. Right when Kwai sends the resources, we'll know. Or right when, sorry. I'm actually... I'm really confused right now, guys. I'm really confused. Um, because we see coinage been researched by Kwai. Uh, and then also we have, on this side, like a, a sling build from Feng Zhao. So, I honestly don't know. We'll just have to pay attention. My, my predictive skills are not there. In fact... I'm not even going to act like I'm on the ball right now. Um, but Doubt's on his way up to Castle Age. Viper is as well. Uh, Moonlight, he's on his way up. And Wheelbarrow's coming in from Feng Zing. 
on this left hand side. Also a lot of falling from these guys. Scouts are coming in now from Feng Zing. He actually has a low HP scout. You could probably do with attacking with his villagers here, doubt, but not that one because that one's quite weak. And it looks like he will do that. Still, gonna go back. Kwai's in there now with his eagle. And it looks like still causing problems is Slam with his Drush. So. Things out. Still has yet to really send any resources or do anything crazy. Um, you know, he's still in the feudal age. If you look, we still have... Ah, uh, there we go. So, he paid resources to Moonlight. Moonlight's playing as Huns. And Overlay, of course, alerting us of such. Um, it's interesting, because if you look at Viper right now, he's going to be sending out Knights. He's getting up his second TC, third TC. Uh, then, of course, Doubt. He is playing as the Mayans. He was playing as the Mayans. He's getting out his castle. Uh, you know, we have Slam almost at the castle age. Then, you look at the old men, and... If you look at their approach to getting up to the Castle Age, only one person did the Castle Age, and three of them are not even on their way up. Like, that's why I'm so confused right now. I I don't know what's happening. Uh, I assume maybe they're just going to do some, some something I've never seen before, something I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, Viper sending his knight this direction, and he's going to hit Moonlight. Obviously, Moonlight is receiving some sling, but... How much sling is he going to receive? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure at all. All this walling and, and it's just so very confusing. A market then being built by the flank. Uh, we already have the market, I think, well, excuse me, a market made as well by the other pocket. Um, yeah, they're, they're sending resources to each other and I'm not quite sure what the play is with it because <laughs> right now uh, Fang Zing is quite late up to the castle age he's, it's a quite weird build uh, but we'll have to pay attention I guess uh, Viper's coming in with his knights I'm trying to figure it out and it's really annoying me I, I assume it's a double sling but they've yet to really send the resources uh, Moonlight's already has plus two and yeah, so Kwai is sending resources for sure, and he's pocket, and then it looks as though Zhao is also sending resources, so they're going to double sling, and maybe they're just going to try and take out Viper and Doubt. I, I'm not sure what their play is. Their, their wood lines are, are quite poor, I will say Viper and Doubt's wood lines are not the best, and so maybe they could be able to do some damage. They're definitely double slinging. It's confirmed right now. It is confirmed the double sling <laughs> because we're seeing it at the top top left. So knights are in. Viper he has his own knights, but if you compare the upgrades, plus two defense and bloodlines versus Viper, just plus one defense, and that's a huge difference, of course. Moonlight also is over here. Uh, total military for Moonlight right now. You're looking at 14. Uh, not a substantial amount just yet, but of course, not yet even at crossbow is Slam. Slam's going to have to even wall behind this. This is it, this is really going to have to work before the 40 minute mark, I think, for old men. They're really going to have to do some quick damage. Um, obviously, having two people invested in the sling, it's really going to have to work pretty quickly. And it looks like Riot's going to send over his own camels to help uh, Viper and Doubt. Now, in the Castle Age is Fang Zing, and he is Mongols. He's going up to a second TC, third TC. He was up late, but it looks as though he is going to just play this one in the Castle Age. I uh, possibly could go Knights or Camels, not going to be going for Cross, but actually, wow, he's going up on straight up onto an additional three TCs. He was up a couple minutes late, and I was kind of confused at that. He's getting Heavy Plow, Gold Mining right away. This is like a really strong boom build. Uh, Really, really interesting uh, that he has chosen to go such a route. Uh, and 
saying that Rhea seems to be sending help over to the pockets, so maybe he will be okay. Right now, Viper's still uh, kind of lacking the upgrades to deal with this. He's getting bloodlines now. Slam is... Well, he doesn't have the upgrades to be able to deal with these knights if the wall wasn't there. He's going to have to wall behind it. Um, knights are going to go back. And probably wise for Moonlight to do so. Big team wall starting, which is uh, certainly expected, I think, from these players. Uh, there hasn't been a game where we haven't seen a lot of team walling in Arabia from old men. But it's really a smart thing. Walling is so, so important. Um, they just do it so early. <laughs> So I'm going to pay attention more so to, I think, Feng Zing than anything. I mean, Feng Zing's approach actually was just as surprising as the double sling. Uh, I want to pay attention to how... He's at 45 villagers now while Viper's at 56. So I want to see how quickly he can catch up with the extra TC and the researches he got in or what he can do. Because Viper's receiving a lot of pressure uh, and... He's on, I guess, three TCs. Uh, he's forced to make a monastery in defense. He's not going to be able to get uh, as big a boom going. And like I said, Riot actually cannot attack his own flank, which is a bit of a problem. He's only defending with camels. Uh, they can all know that the double sling is happening because Kwai and Fang Zhao actually have not hit the Castle Age. And Moonlight is on his way to Imperial, if you haven't noticed as well. So... That's going to be quite a quick Imperial time. Um, he's only at 55... Well, yeah, 55 Vils. And he can get Cavalier. And... He could do damage, but he's only at... You know, 18, 19 military. So he has to make his fights count for sure. Uh, I'm going to actually toggle over now to Moonlight for a moment. I want to see his resources. He has quite a lot of resources, actually. This could be devastating. Of course, he's going to need the plus three defense. He's getting husbandry now as well. And if you're receiving the double sling, you're going to be able to get a lot of researches in. So we're going to see. He's going to actually focus on this side. Potentially try and work his way into Riot uh, for... He's going to refocus, I think, now over this direction. Riot doesn't have many upgrades on his camels, and if Cavalier does come in, camels aren't going to be the strongest. Riot's going to know what's happened. Everyone knows what happened, what is coming next, because the Cavalier upgrade will come in. Viper can't do any raiding with his knights because there's just so many walls. And I was talking about paying attention to the bills earlier, and... Only doubt is leading Feng Zing, so Feng Zing is strictly boom right now, except for one military, which I assume is, yeah, that spear. And so, I think Feng Zing is going to have a really strong part to play if Feng Zing can get out to, up to imp. But out come the Cavalier shortly, going to have plus three defense, plus two attack, and I wouldn't be surprised if Paladin came in shortly after. Everybody's coming out to help the pockets now. Like, the double sling is proving to be pretty strong at this point. Uh, Viper, he, he's having to get upgrades. He actually doesn't have the def all the defense upgrades. He's made a lot of monks. How many conversions is he going to get? Um, I'm seeing two conversions there. Uh, other than that, it looks like he's lost his monks. Maybe, yep, it looks like two. Uh, he has pushed back Moonlight, though. He does have a lot of knights. He is going to want to get the defense upgrades on his units, though. It's like Doubt has also got a couple conversions. You're not going to see any Mayan Cavalier in this game unless they are converted. Uh, the problem now, though, is that you know he doesn't have much to defend this as a Mayan player. I mean, Cavalier, soon to be Paladin, you would think, is going to be really, really strong against a Castle Age Mayan player. Uh, he doesn't have many plumes. He has to wait till he gets some upgrades on him anyway, and uh, now he's making he's making barracks, so he might even need to go pikeman. I'm not sure. He's getting close for click up. Obviously, I think the tyrants are getting a little bit a little bit scared of what could come. Thus far, they haven't received a lot of pressure though. They've dealt with it okay, and uh, it, it hasn't been the worst. But Paladin's coming in now for moonlight. It's going to be so so strong, and. 
not so sure where Moonlight's going to be able to go. He's going to go back here, and Viper has a lot of eco going. Uh, Feng Zing's on its way to Imp, though. We were kind of expecting this. He has a castle here, a castle here, and Rhea is nowhere near Imp. And I just had to think, with the style boom that Feng Zing chose, that he would have a huge part to play. Uh, he's at 92 villagers now, 93 and climbing, uh, and still only Doubt is ahead of him. But Rhea is... He's not even clicked. And Riot's the other Mongols player. You need an Imperial Age Mongols. I guess Riot's clicked now. Uh, Riot doesn't have a castle. I feel like Riot could get stomped pretty quickly. Uh, it, it would just not be good for the Tyrants. But the Paladin's coming in now. Uh, kind of a two-pronged attacked attack, excuse me. And that TC could have been taken down, but Viper knew that he would need to attack, and he's going to come and try, and he still doesn't have plus two defense, I'm not sure about that, but this is a two-pronged attack I was talking about, uh, Moonlight's attacking on both fronts, uh, let's go to Viper to save his TC here, but also he could lose some bills here, he's losing a couple, uh, it's nice that Slam is here though, to help, uh, Slam has clicked up to the Imperial Age as well, Tyrants have done a decent job of holding thus far, and if you look, we actually have Slam getting up his own castles. Could go Elite Chuko Nu. I think the real worry now is that Feng Zing is actually quite strong himself. And if they're able to do the damage... I said, if the Sling doesn't pay off by 40 minutes, that was my little prediction, then I don't think it's going to work. And we're getting close um, to that mark. The Paladins are continuing to stream in, and Viper's going to need to hold. Like, all the Tyrants are... Well, pretty much all the Tyrants except Viper are on their way up to Imp, and they need to hold this now. They need to have some good some good fights, and they, they just need to hold so they can have pretty much a 4v2. I don't know if they can do that, though. It looks like Riot is going to be up against it on this side. Uh, we're going to have a lot of upgrades come in for Feng Zing. More Paladin coming in, and it looks like losing this fight is Viper. The crossbows, they are not going to hold up. I mean, they're, they're, I don't even know if we're going to see the upgrade from Slam to Arbalest because uh, there's just, it's not going to be worth it. <laughs> uh, he needs some resources for, he's probably invested in a lot of Chikunu uh, right there. So, either way, Viper's losing so much right now. Oh, he's going to get the castle denied. He's losing so many villagers around the castle and, oh, that, oh, he's going to still try and get it up. He should have gone back. He started to go back. He's still going to, that's, that's like, that's Titanic right there. He's lost so many. No, 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 no. That was such a bad. That was such a bad thing. That was so bad. Uh, he's losing everything, Viper, and he's gonna lose these guys as well. And meanwhile, Rhea is losing everything here. And I, I think now with the Elite Mangadai here, and Rhea has no castle. Well, I guess he has two castles. The second one going up. Um, it is. It, it, it's the end, I think, for the Tyrants. I, I think the double sling has paid off. These TCs will go down. Viper really, I mean, I guess he could attempt to get the castle up in a moment, but what's he really going to do? Uh, slam? I mean, if you were to say Slam and Doubt is the only hope, um, it's a 2v2. <laughs> so, and the other guys could be receiving sling right now. Uh, it's not looking good. Not looking good. Riot's losing so much, and... He doesn't have upgrades. I, I think the Tyrants are going to still try and hang in here, though. Still try and hang in here. You did see the Halb upgrade come in from Doubt. Uh, and he's going to try and defend against these Paladins. That's a wise move. But he can't be everywhere. Viper, he got the castle up. He is not himself. I feel like everyone's picking on the Viper these last two games. Because right now, uh, he's getting another TC battered down. He's lost a lot of villagers. I think it's a wise move to, to focus on the Viper for sure. These Vills going down. Riot, he's still losing an awful lot. He could lose his castle shortly, you have to think. I'm not even sure if Riot has crucial upgrades on whatever Mangadai he gets. And... It's just so much, so much pallet in here. There's 50 military. He's just going to be able to take out everything Viper has. I, I don't think there's really anything. Like, Doubt is so worried about just defending at home right now.
That TC will go down. Viper, how many... Yeah, I actually, when I said so much, I knew it was wrong. <laughs> it was, I already started the muh, so I wasn't going to say muh any, but yeah, you're right. But yeah, these uh, bills are going to go down, and Viper seems to be, he's going to have to really have help and reboom at this point, I think. Uh, four castles going up for Slam. I have to think Slam should have helped a little bit earlier. He's sending over the Chuko News. Elite Chuko News with a lot of upgrades. I have to think he should have just sent the units over earlier. Uh, that being said, Riot's still struggling here. He does have upgrades. That's a little bit wrong. Uh, we have the plus four even before we've seen the plus four for Feng Zhang, and it's not going to matter because he haven't really engaged yet. But he is repairing his castle, and that's an advantage for Feng Zhang. Um, Though these trebs are firing uphill, it's stone being wasted by Riot to repair, and he doesn't have the numbers. I'm not sure if we have seen uh, <clears throat> Thumbring come in for Riot. I did see him build the archery range. I assume he's already gotten that. But look at the numbers there of Mangadai by Feng Zing. So I'm not seeing that many Paladin actually from <laughs> Moonlight. Okay, there they are. I lied. I, I do see them. Uh, the Paladin are here, and I guess they're going to run into these Halbs, but they can just flee. It doesn't really seem like Doubt is, has the resources to transition into Plumes. Um, well, he does have... That would be perfect to go in the Plumes. He just doesn't have the castles to do that, and that's just really, really poor. Moonlight's going to send over his units here to help. Oh, and wow, these these units have just run riot over Riot. And run rampant over Riot. Run, whatever you want to say, I don't even care. This is just really bad. I feel like the Tyrants are really up against it. Um, that castle go down. Another castle go down as well. Riot's pretty much lost his entire base. And also Viper, though he's recovered a little bit, uh, he's... He's... he's Going up to Imperial Age. Okay. Uh, which TC is he going up to Imperial Age in? That's always fun to know. Uh, the back one. Okay. Wise choice. Well, no. It's actually on the side. But I think it'll be fine. So Viper somehow is still... Uh, has a decent economy. 93 bills. He's able to reboom pretty quickly. Uh, Slam is coming over with his Shukunus to help re it. But so many units. That Treb looks like it'll just stay up. Uh, actually, just go down. Someone had mentioned it, but Doubt actually got the plus four attack on his halves before he got the defense, so uh, that's certainly... Oh no, wow. Five HP. That's why you don't call it. That's why you wait till it happens. That castle might go down. Probably go down. And the Mang and I are gonna push in. There's just nothing here the Tyrants can do to stop this. And so many bills right there. Look at the amount of bills. That's like 20 bills from Riot. And it's not like he has that many bills. He only has 60 of them. That's that's a third of his villager count. And they're all going to die, most likely. Um, lost half of them. He still has villagers back here running. I I mean, at this point, the, the Tyrants, they really can't trade safely. I Meanwhile, we're probably seeing trade started, I guess, back here from old men. The double sling is paid off. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, we Kwai all the while is, is on his way to Imperial as well. And seems to be in a decent position. Uh, Kwai, of course, uh, playing as the Mayans. Uh, how many bills is Kwai at? Uh, 77. Uh, where are we looking at as far as the military? Uh, I, wow, that's actually really, really poor to, have, to not even have any military really and have that many idols but um castles yep there's a castle there's a castle and plumed archers so plumed archers would be an excellent choice something that doubt does not have right now riot is just trying to put castles up to just stall but that's all he's really doing i mean it, they're not actually gaining an advantage here uh, i guess they're waiting for viper to get some upgrades and Oddly enough, Viper still does not have plus two defense, and he's now Imperial. And he, he's probably realizing it just now, because he's now getting it. He's probably saying, crap, I didn't get plus three defense, uh, or plus two defense, and I'm trying to get plus three right now. Um, yeah, but Riot now is at 43 bills. 
uh, really struggling. It looks back at the bottom, Slam is trying to push in uh, into this area. Moonlight should really have the military to be able to deal with that. That's not really of any importance, though. This is this is the this is the issue for the tyrants. I, I still think it's a losing battle. Slam, he can't he can't do both at once. He has to help this side. As you can see now, Doubt is losing a lot of villagers, and this castle is victim next. There's three traps here, four traps there, siege rams, all the upgrades in these Mangadai, all the upgrades on these Paladin, and I guess Riot is going for. Onagers. He has an Onager, but he's going to lose the Siege Workshops there. And now Doubt is running with Villagers. You know, you can't run much farther, guys. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they're just waiting for, for Viper to try and do something here with this Cavalier. Still, it does look like Slam is actually trying to push in. Uh, I'm not... He's going to have to kill, like, two of the Old Men players for it to really justify him being down there because Doubt is is losing an awful lot here. Rhea is pretty much out of the game at 17 bills, 24 population. And Viper now is he's actually taking this fight before the plus three defense comes in. And he's losing an awful lot of units. That Lumber Camp was really helping out old men as well. Uh, it looks like there's Mangadai just wiping everything up. Yeah, Riot seems to be running and, and trying to reboom. He has a TC there, which is a valiant effort. And there's a GG. So, um, kind of expected, but I do like the fact that these guys certainly try and uh, play a little bit longer try and pull it back. I think the last game was a good example of like not GGing early. Both of those guys could have GG'd pretty early and they, they turned it around. But uh, with Kwai coming into the mix with Elite Plumes, really no surprise there. I mean, Doubt was about to lose all these villagers as well. Uh, and crazy game. Like, I was so confused. Like, granted, I'm pretty tired, but I was so confused when... Well, not only I saw uh, the flank wall up here, and then the pocket wall up, I was like, okay, double sling maybe? But then this flank didn't get up to the castle age, so 20 minutes. So Fang Zing pretty much just walled and went up to four TCs right off the bat and didn't make any military in the, in the feudal age, uh, which is pretty much unheard of as Mongols. Uh, but anyway, let's look at the achievements here. Oh wow, you guys won so much crap. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. You guys all just went all in on the tyrants. That's that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. I mean, okay, maybe I shouldn't say it's funny because a majority of you actually bet on the tyrants and then you'll hate me. I don't know. I mean, I... For once, I kind of... I'm on the other side. I actually didn't bet. I, I'm very poor, right? So, when it comes to my Voobly Gold. So, I, for once, I'm on the other side. I actually didn't bet. Um, Alright. Let's see. Moonlight, obviously, 431 units killed. That with a lot of units lost. Um, we have overall resources collected, a huge mess. Obviously, units sent as well. Um, and so look at this uptime though. Castle H for the flank, Mongols flank, 20 minutes and 59 seconds. That was so confusing. I, I just did not understand it. Um, but anyway, it worked out. I can't really complain. Uh, or they can't really complain.